Hey guys, and welcome back to Skin Science, where I team up with Earthborn Solutions to bring you the science behind your skin. We talk about everything from skincare to understanding the words on your products and bottles to waging the war against acne. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about layers. Not the layers of a burrito and not the layers of an onion, you ogre, but the layers of your skin. Before you can start treating your skin, you have to know how it works. So let's get back to basics. Your skin is one of the first things that people notice about you, and it's also your body's first line of defense. It protects you from foreign invaders like bacteria and viruses, as well as helping to maintain body functions, such as heat and temperature. It kind of sounds like a job for more than just one, doesn't it? That's because it is. The skin is actually made up of seven different layers, all with very unique functions and jobs. This video is going to give you the knowledge that you need to better understand your skin. Because, hello, guacamole is a dollar extra at Chipotle, and skincare is expensive. If I can save some money on products, that means a lot more guacamole on my burrito. Let's begin. The skin is made up of seven different layers that can be broken down into three basic parts. The hypodermis, the dermis, and the epidermis. The bottommost layer is the hypodermis layer. This is the fatty layer made up of adipose tissue, which is just a big fancy word for fat tissue. You can think about this kind of like the foam on your latte. When you're working out and burning calories, this is the layer that you're doing it from. Right above the hypodermis, connected by elastin and collagen, is the dermis. The dermis is kind of like Grand Central Station for your skin. It's got blood vessels, hair follicles, lymphatic vessels, oil glands, and actually has sensors for pain, touch, and heat. So bottom line, there's a lot going on here. The epidermis is the outermost layer of your skin. It's the one that you see with your eyes, and it's actually made up of five different layers. We've got the stratum basal, the stratum spinosum, the stratum granulosum, the stratum corneum, and the acid mantle. Try saying that five times fast. The stratum basal contains keratinocytes. These are what waterproof your skin and give it durability. Imagine taking a shower without waterproof skin. Not a good idea. Right above that is the stratum spinosum. The stratum spinosum is also what gives the skin its flexibility to move and speak. It's also where new cells go once they are pushed up through the basal layer. The granulosum layer is where cells go to get compacted, self-destruct, and puke out all their contents. Ah, <sighs> memories. As these cells are compressed, they leak out their proteins and lipids into extracellular space, where they become dead skin cells. They're dead! They're all dead! As these cells die, they move up into the stratum corneum, where they slough off and free themselves into the world. Run, Forrest, run! The acid mantle is the oily outermost layer of the skin. This is why blotting sheets exist. It's also a pretty cool name for a rock band. The acid mantle is a thin and slightly acidic layer. It gives lubrication to the cells of your skin and also acts as a transport for nutrients, such as antioxidants and omega fatty acids. Because it's slightly acidic, it's also your body's first line of defense against bacteria and viruses. You can kind of think of it as your knight in shining armor. And fun fact, the acid mantle is one layer of your skin that you can actually remove if you overwash and strip your skin too much. No bueno. Now that you know the layers of your skin, it's time to start taking care of them so that they can take care of you. But first, let's take care of those brain cells and refuel with a tasty seven layer burrito. So thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Skin Science and a huge shout out to the folks at Earthborn Solutions for creating a product that keeps our brushes clean, our skin clear, and our minds fed. If you learned something in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a new Skin Science episode every Saturday. Remember that clean is beautiful and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.